Hey guys, hashtag skip introductions, hashtag I don't do introductions, so I'll just go ahead and get started. Um, first, you'll need to install Diablo 2, a okay, clean copy. Um, I uninstalled it just for this guide. I'm going to type in my key off screen so you, so no one will, you know, steal my key. Um, note this if you need to. You probably won't. Just like, that's your Diablo 2 directory, which is very important for later steps of this installation guide. This is for um, multi res, me and XL, XB, C, multi res, and D2SE, all that good stuff, for with gaming. I don't care for putting it in the right order. It can't even be right order, there's no right order. Now that classic is done, go ahead and install LOD. I'm using the Battle.net installers, so I have them saved on my computer. This should be the same if you're using CDs. Now that's done. Um, you got the other two installed. You can go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and run Diablo just to get the latest patch. I'm going to run it in window. There's no sound mode. This is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. So I'll go ahead and run Diablo. Let it download the latest patch because I still play classic or I play vanilla. Go ahead and sign in. Oops. Nope. That's not my password. This is my password. There we go. See, all signed in, all good. All okay, so now we need to install the D2SC um, mod manager. All of the downloads for all these will be in the description. Make sure this is the same as your Diablo 2 folder. It should be. If you if you like literally just installed it, it should be there should be no reason why. You go ahead and next. I don't use the start menu folder. Create desktop icon. Yes. Install. Launch D2SE. All right. So you got D2SE. You got all these. Um, I personally do not like any of these. Like all these versions, I'm not going to use anything um, before 1.13c. Oh, that's not the button. No, that's not the button either. I thought there was a button where you could... This one? Nope. I guess there's not a button. I thought there was a button where you could go straight to the thing. I guess not. Okay. So what you can do is you, is you can right-click either of these, and he, there should be an open file location here. If there's not, you can go to Properties. When it loads, there's open file location in the shortcut tab. Just hit open file location. And then you'll be in your Diablo 2 directory. What you need to do from here is go to D2SE, Cores, Remove all the ones you don't want. That way you don't have to scroll all the way to the bottom for um, me and Excel. Um, you must have 1.13c there. It, I mean, for it, if you're going to use D2SE to run me and Excel, it is mandatory to have this. If you delete it, it won't run. So keep 1.13c. Um, so we got that done. So now I'll take the median Excel um, archive. There's a RAR file um, downloaded from the, um, the mod database site. And you need to have WinRAR 7-zip to open it so you can extract the files. And you just go ahead, go, in here, go to the mods folder. You can delete this, you don't need this. My dog is stupid. Useless dog. Is useless. All right, so we just go into the archive. Um, take the folder and just put it in the mods folder. All 
Alright, so now we've got that. We don't need the archive anymore. We can just go ahead and exit out of that. Now I'm going to here. This seems to be the part where a lot of people have troubles with. We don't need this. Um, going going into the plug y dot any, and I, I use Notepad plus plus. Yours won't look as fancy if you're not using this. I mean, I can edit it in normal Notepad. It's not going to make a difference. Open with Notepad. Yeah, see, we got this. So just go down to DLL to load right here, and just type this exactly D capital D to capital M multi capital R res underscore one one three C dot DLL and then change active commands to one and then you can go ahead and save it and file hit save exit so now we're done with that we can go ahead and just back out of this back out again actually no no my, my bad go back go back um, now what we need to do is go into the multi-res archive and open this and drag both of these into the mod folder and then you don't need this anymore you can just go ahead and exit it out so now that you have um, the actual game installed we don't need this anymore we can go ahead and install borderless gaming run next accept the agreement um, I install it into my DL, the two folders slash other. You can install it wherever you want to. It's not going to make a difference. Just anywhere works fine. And create this top icon. Yes. Start with this gaming. Alright, so we got this. You won't see this. I'll go ahead and remove that. Alright, so this is what you'll see. So we're going to keep that up. And we're going to go open D2SE. See, you'll see the meeting. Um, Excel Ultimate XC. Um, so go ahead and click it. Make sure you're using um, DDraw. Make sure that the windowed mode is checked. Make sure you're, you're using Pluggy, Plugy, and make sure this is allowed. I think it glitches out if you don't have it allowed. And then go ahead and press Start Plugin. All right, so you get this. Um, now go back to Borderless Gaming. Click the Alable 2 D2SC and move it to the right. And it should automatically full screen the Alable. It, it'll look all weird in the menu, but you just gotta Let the it. storm it's follow in or, my I mean, wake. it's just the menu, because the, the menu is not adapted for high resolutions. I'm just gonna make a random character called Tess just for this. It, all this will be buggy because of the borderless gaming, but once you go to options, escape options, video settings, resolution, you can see all of these are resolutions. Every time you change a, a, a resolution, um, depending on your monitor, I know mine bugs out and it, pu it pushes this all, like off the bottom. Um, even though that's my computer's and my monitor's native resolution right now. Um, this version, m most widescreen users, you, um, their resolution is this. It's bugged out. You can't use it. So what I've done is I just changed my desktop resolution to this. It's six pixels less. It's not going to make a huge difference. If you leave your um, if you leave your desktop at this resolution but use this one, you'll see like a little bar over here. It's just a tiny little bar that you can see, or just empty space, and it'll look all glitchy. It's not going to affect gameplay. It'll just look weird. And after you get that, it'll be done there. Oh, get out of my face. So now you'll have me and Excel installed. Um, in the case you get this glitch, or like your taskbar, the little bar um, stays on your screen, all you gotta do is restart Borderless Gaming. And then you can go ahead and minimize this, or keep it open. Start D2SE, start plugin, save all like the full screen, and then you just go back to the desktop, and you can go to no, that's not it. You, just can, you can go down to Borderless Gaming, the show, and you can exit out of it. You don't need it anymore once it's started. And then you see the bar has gone away. You can join. The bottom didn't fix itself again. Usually, it'll work after a while. 
I'm gonna keep it open as I do this. I think I think you have to keep this open until you get into the actual game. So keep that open until you have the full screen. Before it goes away, press OK. And it fixes itself. There it is. Um other glitches that um might we have a problem. I think when you go to the next act, like if Your you kill, kill and Dario and go east, it'll screw up the bottom again or make the um, taskbar come it, or come back up over the game. It, it's a chance. It, it affects everybody differently. Um, this the bar we push off the screen again. All you gotta do is restart Diablo. Um, every time you leave the game and then come back, um, it'll glitch out again. So all you can do is just completely restart Diablo. That's just, I mean, it's what you gotta do for a Gucci plugin. It's what you gotta do for using it. Make it work. And there it is. You have multi res, have everything else you need. Um, if you wanna play, you can use the same thing to play um, normal. Like, I if you play on the Sin War, what you can do is make sure you exit out of Borderless Gaming, go to D2SE, um, and then unselect Use Pluggy. You can change your you, you can change any uh, of your video set settings as long as you have um pluggy unchecked. So I'm gonna go ahead and use glide. I'll configure my glide settings right now. Let's just show you query the OpenGL infos. And that way you can see what my computer can use. That's what I've done. Go to settings. Yes, I want it window mode. I don't want to capture the mouse. Keep aspect ratio. VSync, yes. I changed my FPS limit. I don't, I don't even think you need to since VSync is on. Um, just to 62.5 because most screens um, max res or max FPS is 60 anyway. I changed the static size to this, which it, it, it'll push the top and bottom off just a tiny bit, but it doesn't bother me as long as I have it centered. And then remember position. I don't think that's needed. And then you can go to render. You can change this however you want to. I don't. I, I don't change it. I'm to the point. Um, extensions. The ones that you can't use will be removed. All good. All good. You can hit test. I'll uh, flick around and hit exit. And you can press quit and then press start plugin. And a normal Diablo will start up. You can join the Sin War like normal. It's all good. Let's see. What's my password for this? Is it this? Yeah, you can join normal. You can, you know, kill people, and play normal, and then you want to play again. Um, you just exit out, turn plug up, um, exit out, turn pluggy on, go to DJAW, and make sure um, borderless gaming is started before you start the game, or else it'll bug out. Minimize it. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it open. I don't see the point of not keeping it open. You start plugging full screen, single player. You cannot use multi res online. It, I don't think it works. I, I don't know what happens if you try it. I'm not gonna try it. I mean, I'm not afraid of being banned. I just really don't care to. Because I know it's not gonna work in some form or fashion. Uh, I think it just says it can't identify your application properly or identify your version pop properly. Um, I think that's it. If you run into any of the problems, I think I code all the glitches. Let me make sure. Um, oh, yeah. Um, in the case that you start up Diablo and boil this game and everything, and then you like create a game or join a game, like through, like say you're playing on Open Battle.net or TCP slash IP connection or single player, and you create slash join a game, um, there's a chance that Diablo 2 will crash. It's a sound error. Basically, the way to fix it is the exit of Diablo 2 and Borderless Gaming. Go to your sound, go to the mixer, and exit out of every single one of these except for the system sounds. You know, you can't you can't turn off that. So exit out of any, anything of these that have sound. Start a Borderless Gaming, start a Diablo, get into the game, and then start up everything else that has sound. So like for me, I'd have to exit out of Firefox and OBS, which is what I'm using to record, which I'm not going to exit out of that while I'm recording. Um, and then it, sh it should be fine after that. Um, I think I covered everything. You you should be good. Um, thanks for watching. Ho hopefully this solves any other problems anybody has. And um, good luck and have fun. And hopefully this works. If it doesn't, you know, reply on the thread that this video will be in, or, or reply in the. Or 
I'll put I'll, I'll put a thread to the Meet Excel forums in the description for the, for those of you who um, did, found this video through YouTube and not through um, the Meet Excel forums. That way, you can shut up. I know it's because I have <coughs> arrow enabled while I'm recording. Um, I'll leave a link to the, um, the guide for um on the MXL forum so you guys can um register, sign in, and um post comments or like reply with any problems you have because I'm not going to check the comments. I don't. I'm lazy. I don't care for YouTube that much. It's just for you guys' use, not mine. Well, and take care and have fun.